Communication networks refer to patterns of information transmission and exchange between or among members of teams and groups. And they define who communicates with whom, to what extent, and how often. Communication networks and pads really assume two major forms. One of them is called centralized communications. Centralized communications, think of a police dispatcher. Uh, the communication travels to a central pivot person and then it gets redistributed back out. This is like a wheel with spokes connecting the middle. Now not all members have access to one another to receive information. And the uh, centralized uh, networks tend to be associated with low jo job satisfaction, low speed on complex tasks because people have to go through the, the hub of the wheel instead of talking to each other. Uh, and they al it allows for a minimal amount of communication when you need it, when you need high-speed communication and accuracy, even on simple tasks. The person in the middle, of course, as you might expect, reports very high level of job satisfaction, especially with simple tasks and high accuracy on complex tasks.